Bioenergetics, Wikipedia article audio. Bioenergetics is a field in biochemistry and cell biology that concerns energy flow through living systems. This is an active area of biological research that includes the study of the transformation of energy in living organisms and the study of thousands of different cellular processes such as cellular respiration and the many other metabolic and enzymatic processes that lead to production and utilization of energy in forms such as adenosine triphosphate molecules. That is, the goal of bioenergetics is to describe how living organisms acquire and transform energy in order to perform biological work. The study of metabolic pathways is thus essential to bioenergetics. Bioenergetics is the part of biochemistry concerned with the energy involved in making and breaking of chemical bonds in the molecules found in biological organisms. It can also be defined as the study of energy relationships and energy transformations and transductions in living organisms. The ability to harness energy from a variety of metabolic pathways is a property of all living organisms. Growth, development, anabolism, and catabolism are some of the central processes in the study of biological organisms because the role of energy is fundamental to such biological processes. Life is dependent on energy transformations, living organisms survive because of exchange of energy between living tissues slash cells and the outside environment. Some organisms, such as autotrophs, can acquire energy from sunlight without needing to consume nutrients and break them down. Other organisms, like heterotrophs, must intake nutrients from food to be able to sustain energy by breaking down chemical bonds and nutrients during metabolic processes such as glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. Importantly, as a direct consequence of the first law of thermodynamics, autotrophs and heterotrophs participate in a universal metabolic network by eating autotrophs. Heterotrophs harness energy that was initially transformed by the plants during photosynthesis. Overview Types of reactions In a living organism, chemical bonds are broken and made as part of the exchange and transformation of energy. Energy is available for work or for other processes, when weak bonds are broken and stronger bonds are made. The production of stronger bonds allows release of usable energy. Adenosine triphosphate is the main energy currency for organisms. The goal of metabolic and catabolic processes are to synthesize ADP from available starting materials, and to break down ADP and inorganic phosphate by utilizing it in biological processes. In a cell, the ratio of ADP to ADP concentrations is known as the energy charge of the cell. A cell can use this energy charge to relay information about cellular needs, if there is more ADP than ADP available, the cell can use ADP to do work, but if there is more ADP than ADP available, the cell must synthesize ADP via oxidative phosphorylation. Living organisms produce ADP from energy sources via oxidative phosphorylation. The terminal phosphate bonds of ADP are relatively weak compared with the stronger bonds formed when ADP is hydrolyzed to adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate. Here it is the thermodynamically favorable free energy of hydrolysis that results in energy release the phosphoanhydride bond between the terminal phosphate group and the rest of the ADP molecule does not itself contain this energy. An organism's stockpile of ADP is used as a battery to store energy in cells. Utilization of chemical energy from such molecular bond rearrangement powers biological processes in every biological organism. Living organisms obtain energy from organic and inorganic materials, 
i.e. ADP can be synthesized from a variety of biochemical precursors. For example, lithotrophs can oxidize minerals such as nitrates or forms of sulfur, such as elemental sulfur, sulfites, and hydrogen sulfide to produce ADP. In photosynthesis, autotrophs produce ADP using light energy, whereas heterotrophs must consume organic compounds, mostly including carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. The amount of energy actually obtained by the organism is lower than the amount present in the food, there are losses in digestion, metabolism, and thermogenesis. Environmental materials that an organism intakes are generally combined with oxygen to release energy, although some can also be oxidized anaerobically by various organisms. The bonds holding the molecules of nutrients together and in particular the bonds holding molecules of free oxygen together are relatively weak compared with the chemical bonds holding carbon dioxide and water together. The utilization of these materials is a form of slow combustion because the nutrients are reacted with oxygen. The oxidation releases energy because stronger bonds have been formed. This net energy may evolve as heat, which may be used by the organism for other purposes, such as breaking other bonds to do chemistry required for survival. Examples of Major Bioenergetic Processes the free energy gained or lost in a reaction can be calculated as follows, delta G equals delta HT delta S where G equals Gibbs free energy, H equals enthalpy, T equals temperature, and S equals entropy. In August 1960, Robert K. Crane presented for the first time his discovery of the sodium glucose co-transport as the mechanism for intestinal glucose absorption. Crane's discovery of co-transport was the first ever proposal of flux coupling in biology and was the most important event concerning carbohydrate absorption in the 20th century. Co-transport one of the major triumphs of bioenergetics is Peter D. Mitchell's chemiosmotic theory of how protons in aqueous solution function in the production of ADP in cell organelles such as mitochondria. This work earned Mitchell the 1978 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. Other cellular sources of ADP such as glycolysis were understood first but such processes for direct coupling of enzyme activity to ADP production are not the major source of useful chemical energy in most cells. Chemiosmotic coupling is the major energy-producing process in most cells, being utilized in chloroplasts and several single-celled organisms in addition to mitochondria. Energy homeostasis is the homeostatic control of energy balance the difference between energy obtained through food consumption and energy expenditure in living systems. Chemiosmotic theory Energy balance <laughs>